Hello all, welcome to Binary Programming. In this video, we will solve the second challenge of Asynchronous Apex module of Developer Intermediate. The name of the challenge is Use Future Methods. Let's move to the challenge. So in this challenge, we need to create an Apex class that uses at the rate future annotation to update account records. So first, we need to create a field called number of contacts on the account object. And then we need to create an Apex class followed by the Apex text class. Let's move to the org and create this number of contact fields first so let's copy the name from here and in the org we are going to the object manager and in the object manager we are going to the account and under fields and relationship we are going to click on new so the data type of the field is also given to us it is number so let's select number from this list here it is so we are going to click on next and the name which we have already copied that is number of contacts let's click on next here and let's make it visible to all the profiles and we don't want this field on any of the page layout so click on save finally so the field number of contacts is created now we are going to the next step that is create an fs class so the name of the fs class is given to us that is account processor so in the org we are going to the developer console and in the developer console we are going to create a new apex class called account processor so by click of ok we are able to see the fs class visible to us so in the apex class what we're going to do is we need to create a method called count of contacts and this will accept a list of account IDs and this should be future annotated method and we need to count the number of contacts associated with the account IDs which is coming to us in this list parameter so let's copy this method name from here and what we are going to do is we are going to annotate our method with the future annotation and Let's write the method now public static void count contacts the name we have already copied and it is receiving a list of account IDs so list of ID let's say account IDs now we are going to write the query to get a list of accounts so the list of account let's say account list and here is the query for that so we are going to select id and the number of contacts fields which we have already made in the first step so let's take the field name from here so this is the field name of the field which we have created number of contacts so this is that and we are going to get the contacts associated with the account ids so select the id from contacts and from here we are going to write the var condition where the id in the account ids so this is it now we have got the accounts associated with the account ids which we are getting in the method parameter and now we are going to loop through this list so for account let's say acc colon the account list and inside this for loop what we are going to do is we are going to access this number of contacts fields so acc dot number of contacts so this should contain the acc dot contacts dot size so this will give us the count of contacts and finally what we are going to do is outside this for loop we are going to update this acc list so here it is we have completed the apex class and now we are going to move to the next step that is create an apex test class so the name of the test class is already given to us that is account processor test let's copy this thing from here and here under file new apex class we are going to create another class 
the first thing which we need to do is we need to annotate this with the at the rate test annotation to make the class as test class now we are going to write a method for testing this let's say public static test method and let's say test account processor Now we are going to create some dummy data for the account. Let's say account A is equals to new account and A dot its name is equals to let's say test account and we are going to insert this account. Now what we are going to do is the same way we need to create a contact object which is associated with this account. So let's say contact, let's say con plus to new of contact and con dot first name, let's say binary and con dot last name. let's say programming and finally we are going to associate the account id which from which this account this contact is associated so the account id will be a dot id and finally we are going to insert this contact so the account got inserted the contact got inserted now what we are going to do is we need to create a list to pass the account IDs to the method which we have created. So the list of ID, let's say account list of ID. This will have the list of IDs which we are going to pass. And in this list, what we are going to do is we are going to add the account which we have created. So this is the A dot ID. Now what we are going to do is we are going to call the method but before that we are going to write this standard test of start test and test dot stop test and in between of these things we are going to call our class method. So the account processor is the class which we have created. In this we have created the method called count of contacts. So let's copy the method name from here and here we are going to pass the list which we have created. So here it is. Now in order to test it whether we are going to return the one number of contact from this thing as we have added only a single account ID here and a contact is associated with this account ID that is also one. So let's test it out. What we are going to do is we are going to query this thing and here we are going to write select the number of contacts field which we have created. This should return 1. So the number of contact from account where the ID is equals to the A dot ID and a system dot assert equals will do the work for us here. So expected and the actual these are the two parameters with this system dot assert equals accept. So the actual should be one and the expected should be the account dot number of contacts so this is it let's run this test and see whether our tests are passing or not so it is success let's check this thing out here in the test and you can see the test class which you have returned is in the success mode.
so this is the account processor class which we have created and it is percentage y it is covered as 100 percent you can also see it here by the coverage it is 100 percent as coverage so we are done with this challenge let's check whether we have done it correct or not so yes we have completed this challenge and got 500 points for this see you guys in the next video with the new challenge thank you